Hey friends, we're back with our forgotten favorite foods. Whew. Okay, so we took a few weeks because the kids came home and everything was is bananas when they're in everybody's home. So um, we're starting back this week and uh, this recipe this week, we're going to uh, the desserts for something sweet. This is from uh, the Bib. <laughs> so, you know, most of these are church cookbooks, but that doesn't mean we can't branch out to other places. This one is from the Bib Medical Center Auxiliary. Uh, the Bib Medical Center is a small hospital in my home uh, town, John and I's hometown. Uh, the auxiliary are like the volunteers for the hospital. This does not have a date in it, but I'm thinking it's around maybe the 90s or early 2000s, so it's not really that old of a cookbook. Um, or it's just been stored somewhere and it's in really good shape. But there is this little advertising thing here in the back that has advertisements in it. And some of it is for those, uh, you know, like where you buy buy seven movies and you get them for a, a penny. That was really popular back in the 90s. So I'm thinking that's when this was printed. But anyway, John found this recipe in it. And uh, it's for Japanese fruit pie. And his sticky says, how is this Japanese? Um, when I think of Japanese fruit, I think of cherries. I think of um, Fuji apples because, you know, Mount Fuji, it's in Japan. And, um, but yeah, I, <laughs> this does not have either of those. Okay. No, mm -mm. no, not, not cherries, not Fuji apples in this Japanese fruit pie. It has uh, sugar, of course. And uh, margarine, of course, coconut, pecans, and raisins, and vanillas and eggs. So it's kind of like a um, like a like a chess pie or a custard pie with coconut and raisins and pecans added to it. So I love chess pie. So it sounds delicious to me. I'm gonna try it out. But it's I, how in the world is this Japanese? How? What? How is this Japanese? Okay. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, it does not have a, um, a name attached with this recipe. It is anonymous. There is no name associated with this recipe. Um, so, anonymous out there. Why did you call it Japanese fruit pie if there's no Japanese fruit in it. <laughs> We're gonna try it out, see how it tastes. It is a pie, so I'm pretty sure I can get everybody to taste it. And um, we all like coconut here in our house, so this should go over much better than some of the other recipes. <laughs> so let's give it a try. Let's get cooking. See you soon. Hey friends. Okay, we are ready to make our uh, Japanese fruit pie. So again, this is from the Bib Medical Center Auxiliary. Uh, Bib Medical Center is a small hospital. The auxiliary is the volunteers. I don't know who made this recipe. It is anonymous, which kind of makes me sad. <laughs> um, but it is called a Japanese fruit pie. Um, when I think of Japanese fruit, I think of cherries or Fuji apples, that kind of thing. Um, maybe those, you know, those like pears that are they're squished. They look like apples, but they're pears. Yeah, no, none of that's in here. Instead, we have raisins and coconut and pecans, which to me is more like a southern uh, hummingbird cake type flavor. I don't know. So we're gonna make this. The recipe actually makes two pies, but I don't think we need two pies. So we're going to uh, have the recipe and only make one pie. Uh, the first thing it says is two unbaked pie shells. So of course, again, we're not making two, we're only gonna make one. This is the uh, the pie crust 
that you can buy from the store because uh, I, I do have a life and other things to do. Um, the key to store-bought pie crust is it has to be room temperature when you're working with it. Otherwise, it's going to crack and tear. If you let it come to room temperature though, it works just fine. Um, yes, pie crust is super easy to make. I get that, I know. Water, flour, put it in the fridge, let it cool. Uh, but you know what, sometimes this is just easier. And that's how it's gonna work. So I think I'm going to kind of pull it uh, around the edge of the pie plate so that it doesn't shrink too much. Because we're gonna, this is not gonna be pre-baked. It's just a unbaked pie crust. Okay, so there's our crust. I'm gonna just sit it over here so I can get this. We are, oh gosh, this has, this is gonna be the sweetest pie ever, y'all. <laughs> so it has a whole cup, well, a cup of sugar, a whole cup of sugar, <laughs> um, a half a cup of our good old friend, margarine, uh, not butter, margarine. It does make a difference sometimes in the recipe uh, for how the stuff behaves. Um, it's going to have a half a cup of coconut and it just says coconut. It doesn't say what type of coconut, but from the other ingredients, I'm going to say it's probably just good old shredded coconut. Sweetened, that was actually sweetened coconut. So, a uh, half cup of pecans. Oh, that was raisins. Pecans. Half a cup of raisins. This pie is going to be so sweet, you guys. <laughs> um, and a teaspoon of vanilla. And I bet, uh, I don't know if all of y'all know this, or some of y'all know this. Maybe you do. This uh, standard little size vanilla, the lid is a teaspoon. So, if I can pour it without over, don't measure over your bowl. So there it is, it's full. This is a teaspoon. One teaspoon. So there you go. If you don't feel like getting out your measuring spoon to put your vanilla in. <laughs> the lid of the vanilla is one teaspoon. Okay. So the next thing is two eggs beaten. So we're going to have our two eggs and we're going to mix those up. This pie is like a custard pie or a chest pie sort of. Boy, it's really going to be sweet though with that cup of sugar and the coconut and the raisins and the pecans. And I still have absolutely no idea what would make this Japanese because, you know, raisins and coconut and pecans is not what I would consider Japanese food. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Um, so the only liquid in this, um, you know, is the eggs and the vanilla. But it will come together because of the massive amount of sugar that is in this. I think it's going to be almost like uh, candy in this pie crust, really. It's going to be extremely sweet. So after mixing the ingredients, uh, you, pay, you put it in your pie shell and you bake it in the oven. So let's get this in the pie shell. This came together super easy, super, super easy. And most of this stuff is uh, things you would already have in your cabinet probably, maybe not the coconut. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So there you go. There is our pie. Like I said, it's very, very, very sweet. It's mostly sugar, <laughs> just like us, so sweet. So uh, after mixing the ingredients, we're gonna place it in the oven for, uh, it actually cooks a really long time, 50 to 55 minutes at 300 degrees. So it's gonna cook low and slow for a long time. And then top it with whipped cream. So I don't think I'll have a hard time getting anybody to taste this one. It's going to, uh, you know, it almost reminds me of like pecan pie, but with raisins and 
coconut? I don't know. We're gonna see. We're gonna see about this Japanese fruit pie with no Japanese fruit in it. We'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> hey friends. Okay. This is the Japanese fruit pie. That doesn't have Japanese fruit. That does not have Japanese fruit. <laughs> that isn't really Japanese. It has uh, coconut and raisins and pecans and, and delicious cookie cookies over there for mm -hmm. me. Uh, this is a recipe that Sean found in the book that, and he wrote, ooh, and he wrote a note that says, Oh, that's. Is this Japanese? That is dense. Oh my gosh. Okay, I also burnt the snot out of the crust because I was doing other stuff. The inside did not burn. It's just the crust on the outside. So You know I like you like. You know the, the outer edge, I would kind of... I don't like me too. I would kind of let it... I would let it go. I wouldn't need that part. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... It's like a, fruitcake it's a in a pie. A lot of sugar. A lot of sugar. sugar? in this pie. It's going to be very, 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 very sweet, oh, is my guess. Yeah. Exactly what I'm not needing it. <laughs> yeah, Heidi's not a, Heidi's filming, by the way. Okay, can you, you, you got to, you, you, you real close. I was filming the pie. Don't be filming the pie. Oh my gosh, it's super thick. It's, it smells good, doesn't it? Sorry, you're going to have to edit that out. <laughs> there is no editing here. We're not editing. <laughs> Just get a glimpse of the. Oh, see, it's so it's a little crusty around the edge. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's real burnt. Don't eat that bar. It feels like a rock. <laughs> it feels like a very crumbly rock. Yeah. So I should have put. Yeah, I should have put um, those little, you know, the pie mm -hmm. guards around it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember the pie guards. We'll shake those in the middle. Okay. Oh, okay. Pie guards. Okay. Okay, ready? Right, so what do you think? Let's give it a taste. Shown. The raisins taste different? Mm hmm. I don't know. Mmm. Okay. It looks like you made fruit cake in a pie dish. No. Mm hmm. What's it taste like? Fruity pecan pie. Fruity pecan pie. Yeah. Yeah. It tastes like pecan pie. Mm -hmm. I love pecan pie. I love pecan pie too. This one is like pecan pie with coconut. Yeah. Yeah. You can't taste the coconut when you do the bite. And that's pretty good. It's definitely... It's sweet. <laughs> I don't get anything. Yeah, he's the, he, this one's the sweet one. I still don't see where this relates to Japan. I don't either. I don't know. So if anybody out there knows how uh, this pie would relate to Japan, we would love to know. What were the ingredients again? Uh, it has coconut, it has raisins, and it has pecans. Sugar, is... margarine, and vanilla. And sugar, margarine, and vanilla. Yeah. Yes. That is the least Japanese thing. <laughs> so I don't know how it would really... It's really... very southern. What do you think, Titus? What do you think about when you think of Japanese fruit? Very Yeah, I know what a golden fruit tastes like, and that tastes like Yeah? A golden dragon fruit tastes like a strawberry and a pear. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. None of this. None of this. <laughs> but okay. this is good. Minus the very overcooked edge. But that's only optional. You use, make sure you use a, a pie guard. I did not. But yeah, it's not. It's, it's delicious. It's well, not. Just. It's not what I would call Japanese. Just block it out. Write a new name. It's fine. I think seven. Uh, yeah, I'm. Seven? I'm, okay. Yeah. Mama? I, you know what? It's really good. I'd give it a, I'd give it an eight. You get the crust right, you can take it to any church potluck. Yeah, that's Ooh. true. That's Bubby, true. what do you rate it? Ooh, a nine or a ten? ten. <laughs> it's a ten. It's a ten. Well, yeah, good. All if, right. you, if you didn't think you could make uh, fruity pecan pie, you should definitely. Yeah, you can't really taste the raisins. I think that's what I would call it, fruity pecan pie. Fruity pecan pie. Now this, now this is what both of the boys will be eating for the next week. <laughs> no, no. I'm well, for breakfast. You know what it needs? Whipped cream. Yep. <coughs> it even says top of whipped cream. Yeah, it needs that. All yes, right. we may have some of these guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.